Hello, Lomix here and welcome back to another devlog of my game that has finally a name and it's called Pansit here. For the most important change right at the beginning, I now do regular dev builds and you can play my game right now on my website. Don't expect too much, it's more or less a technical demo right now and there is no balance. But hey, you can drive around in a little tank and wreck havoc. Also, I now stream a lot of my development progress right on Twitch, so if you're interested in watching some bevy development live and see me struggle, check out the link in the description. So what has changed? Well, actually quite a bit to be honest. The first thing, I finally have a game menu. But not only a game menu, but actually state, so you can start the game you can select your little tank and your weapons, you can play, you lose and you can restart. So the most important part of the game loop is there. The next really important part is the map. We now have a fully functional map running that actually makes sense, is a little bit more detailed than the previous map we had and has a lot of events you can encounter. I'm still using a wave function collapse algorithm together with the LDK map editor to create some level presets and combine them in an infinite generated world. In LDDK, I can set a custom weight for each tile pattern to determine how often it should spawn in the world. I'm gonna use this feature to make a lot of different tile sets. For example, I want to have a shop at some point probably some events and quests and different kind of bosses. With the new map it was finally time to upgrade the enemy AI behavior. Previously I used a very simple steering behavior for the enemy AI to determine if they should turn left or right when they encountered an obstacle. This was no longer feasible because now we have buildings and buildings can block entire paths. So it was time to get into A-star pathfinding. I'm still struggling to get it right, but for now I'm quite happy with the result. Next, I finally finished the three archetypes of weapons I'm gonna have in my game. And that's a projectile based weapon, a telegraph weapon and a beam weapon. That is basically just a hitscan weapon for any kind of lasers I want to add. Each weapon can be modified by a bunch of different effects. Damage, crit chance, chaining, forking and piercing, projectile beams and areas. Oh, and did I mention? The player can level now. And not only the player can level up, but also the enemy. So be careful. Together with the leveling, each enemy can now hold its own inventory and in its inventory there can be items. Wow, who, who would have guessed? And each item can apply special modifiers, effects and skills. For now the only way to obtain items is by leveling up, but I'm pretty sure this will change in the future. Especially when you defeat difficult bosses I want you to get rewarded. And finally, for some technical insight, let's talk about Bevy UI. By far the biggest struggle in Bevy is its UI system. And not because it's complicated, it really is not. Just because it takes a lot of lines of code to describe a very simple UI. And every time you want to have some visual feedback, you have to compile your code and run your game again. So, my solution? Well, I do not have a solution for now, but one thing I have and that's a way to describe my UI in very very little code. Inspired by the plugin Bevy UI DSL, which adds a couple of helper functions to make UI representable in very little code and uses functions as CSS like styling classes, I created my own plugin. It's basically a leaner version of the original with some opinionated coding decisions. I'm not gonna release it, but if you are also struggling with Bevy UI, I highly recommend to check out the original. Yeah, that is pretty much it for now. I'm so happy that I finally have a version up 
that I can share with you. So check out the link in the description. You can play it right in the browser. You do not have to install anything. With the power of WebAssembly that is possible. So if you happen to find bugs or do you have any cool feature ideas, leave me some feedback. That's it for now. Leave a like and subscribe and until next time, bye!